to free assembly and to express our dissent at the gross overreach of power by our elected representatives, be they federal or provincial. Our civil liberties have been stripped away under the guise of protecting us because of a public health crisis, a crisis that was based on guesstimate numbers rather than scientific data. Guesstimates are produced demonstrably false models. It is now beyond doubt that the coronavirus is at worst equal to a severe flu season, because that's basically what it is, a severe flu virus. What then I ask is a justification in destroying our economy, depriving people of the right to provide for themselves and their families, to deprive children of a proper education, to deprive the people who have contributed to the health service access to that service. They tell us that we must be responsible to stay at home and bankrupt our children to protect our grandparents. We leave them to die alone for their own good. Really, their own good. Never before in the history of medicine have we quarantined the healthy. No government has even suggested, let alone implemented, such draconian measures. Well, we are here today to reject this abuse of power. The federal government refused to enact sensible border controls. They told us we were racists for suggest suggesting it. Well, that is, what is the name for people who isolate the elderly? to die alone, who won't let their own people travel from one province to another, who won't let children go to school or play in a municipal park. What I ask you is the name for that. I call it totalitarianism. We are, we are here today to tell you, Prime Minister Trudeau and Premier Ford, we are not sheep, our children are not lambs to be led to slaughter. We will not live in your Orwellian society. We demand you end this lockdown now. We demand you cease with this abuse of the power we, the people, have entrusted to you. We demand our freedom, and we are taking it back now. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you, John. Awesome. <clears throat> yeah! Two North Strong and free, baby! Cheers, man. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> good, good succinct point. <laughs> Yeah, um, I thought it was such a well-written, you know, that... Uh, no, it was great. How about you, Ms. Biata? Do you want to just say your first name and why you're holding the sign? Yeah, we can yeah. do it. You okay, so here we go. I'm looking at the sign and your first name and why you're holding the sign. My name is Beata O'Connell and I'm here to defend freedom and rights uh, for all of us because those freedom and rights were taken away from us and we can see it right now how uh, those freedom and rights are more and more uh, restricted from from the society um, and uh, you know as we learn throughout lockdown uh, more and more that virus exists but pandemic doesn't really hospitals are empty continue to be empty we don't understand uh, why uh, you know we why our businesses uh, and and pretty much all parts of society is on lockdown and we are going bankrupt and economy is crashing to the point that our children's children will be not able to pay the debts. Um, why this is this happening? We don't have other explanation than uh, this is totalitarian regime. It's a formation and implementation of totalitarian regime. That's what it is for our uh, leaders who are supposed to represent us and who have those positions because of our taxpayers' money. They became very bloody dictators. They don't care for people, they don't care for our nation. Therefore, they are uh, criminals who should be charged for treason. And it's enough, enough is enough. Patriots are rising, patriots are awake and we are going to fight this uh, we're not going to give our freedom our nation our people uh, uh, to all these dictators uh, and we are going to take and claim this country back to ourselves and to the free country that it's supposed to be so, fantastic fantastic Awesome. God help Beata. us. <laughs> what? No, that was great. That was great. That was great. Thank you. Um, awesome. Uh, well, Lady Beata, Sir John, nice to see you both Thank again. You. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'll, say, I'll you shoot you the email. Awesome. BK. BK. Nice yes, to nice you. to see you again. You are BK. awesome. Uh, what also happens with all these groups yep. that I'm kind of associating myself right now with, yeah. uh, uh, we are completely... Uh, 
eliminating, uh, you know, fake media, right? right. CBC, CNN, all, all of it. Right. So we are looking for honest uh, rapor reporters, honest editors, you know, who can sure. kind of show what is really going on. And you are doing amazing job. So let's, thank you. Let's get let's get people addicted to, to to better information that informs and empowers them as opposed to the opposite. I totally exactly. agree. I totally agree. Nice to see you both again, nice sir, my lady. Yeah. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll see each other again here, but otherwise I'll get a few more people and we'll, we'll make something happen. Yeah. Cheers. And God bless you. God okay. bless you both too. Cheers. Thank Certainly you. has so far. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> Thank you. <All> right. <clears throat> here, here. All right. Hello, my lady. Do you mind if I talk to you about why you're holding the sign? Yes. Uh, are you okay with that? Yes. Okay. Then uh, just your first name and, and then why you're holding the sign. Uh, my name is Marzena. I'm holding this because uh, we can stand and we can yell, we can do whatever we want. However, she is the only refuge. If we pray to her and ask for help, she'll be one day, she will crush the devil. So it's a matter of asking for help. Pray the rosary. That's what she requested in Fatima in 1917. Uh, that we have to pray the rosary and she will save the world. Because she is... Because she is the one that uh, through her we get the graces and we have to just turn to her and the people don't want to do it but this is the only refuge for us at this moment actually throughout the whole world so hopefully people will listen to it and start praying to it. So as a token I can give you that. Sure. I can give you how to pray the rosary. Sure. And I can give you a rosary. Oh, awesome. Wonderful. And there's everything explained. Awesome. And you can get many graces. I'm a, I'm a big fan of, uh, of, of the offline info war in terms of physically reaching out and connecting with people as opposed to being flattened online. So I love yeah. this sort of thing. You yeah, know, we so can... you can distribute. And this is her promise. Yeah. This is her promise to right. the whole world. Okay, it says here, pray the rosary every day in order to obtain peace for the world. Our Lady of Fatima. There is no problem, I tell you, no matter how difficult it is, that we cannot resolve by the prayer of the Holy Rosary, Sister Lucy of Fatima. Yes, okay, wonderful. she was one of the uh, little sh uh, shepherds right. who uh, saw an apparition in 1917. Right. And that was actually a request from heaven. Right. And if, if we fulfill, uh, if actually the Pope consecrate to Asher to the Maki Heart of Mary, right. then we will not have a problem like we ha are having these days. Right. Awesome. Uh, would you like me to email you a copy? Is it is this your email here, or should I email you a copy of this video, uh, or the video that I finish? Yeah. Well, uh, yes, you can. Yeah? Okay, if you'd like. Um, I did this last week with about 30 people or so, and I have a 30-minute video I put together. So a small clip of this will be will be part of that video, and then the rest will be up there. Sure. Okay. There you go. And yeah, you can you can just write down your email if you'd like, and I'll send you a copy of this and the raw video in case you want to use more than I uh, I used in the edited version. Okay, fantastic. So I have a uh, is this uh, Mrs. Leon? Yeah. Now, how do you spell that? M-R-S-L-E-O-N-C-Z-U-K. C-Z-U-K. Okay, sorry, I'm going to have to write that down again. Just because... Uh, my, no, your handwriting's lovely. It's actually a nice script. It's just an unfamiliar name. And my handwriting is worse, but... Leon and then C-Z-U... And then Mrs. Leon, Mrs. Leon Chuck. Okay, BK, nice to meet you, Mrs. Leon Chuck. Yeah, and... and, and Yes, I will give it some serious thought. I honestly think that we need to have respect for every belief system that makes better people. So, I know I will undermine different denominations, but she's the truth. She's the truth. And so many, so many miracles, right? So many wars were actually won. Right. For example, I'm coming from Poland. Tatars, right. Uh, he actually, because of her, he won the game. Right. Okay, so that's why 
peace that will help, even if we think we are just little ones. Right. Going against the big ones, but she's going to crush the devil one day. Well, listen, your beatific character and your efforts speak to the power of, of what she can do for all of us. So. Oh, yes, because she did so much for me and yeah. my family. You're proving it right now. So nice to meet yes, you, man. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. I'll be in touch. I'm actually going to go away from all this noise so I can talk to some people with less noise. So it's lovely to meet you. Look at this. Hello. You mind if I talk to you folks about why you're holding signs? Is that okay? Sorry, mate. Just Not asking your first name and why you're holding the sign, and then uh, get you go. My name is Miro. Miro Miroslav. Miroslav. Yeah. Okay. And what does that say? Right. Could you could you turn that down a little bit? Is that okay? That'll. Um, otherwise, this video might not even make it on the internet because of uh, of the uh, copyright violations from the. Uh, is that okay? Uh, yeah, it's fine. You know, and you can turn it back up. I don't, I'm not trying to stop you. Just just so that I chopped this into a 30 minute video, and then sure. it's able to for everyone around Canada to see. So that's my idea. Say something to give yeah, a little input. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're not bozos and yahoos. No. We're, we're proud polite Canadians who make sense. Yeah. Right. Exactly. So uh, once again, your first name and why you're holding the sign. Hello. My first name is Miroslav. Okay. And uh, I'm holding the sign to protest against being uh, spread lies by government, shut us down, against censorship, against uh, losing our freedoms and liberties, what's government doing to us. It smells to me. I come from Eastern Europe. I lived under communism. My family, my grandfather fought uh, fascism in Second World War. I fought communism in 1990 in Europe, in Eastern Europe. And all it appears to me, all the indications are that communism or fascism or